this is what I am, this is what my work is. And uh, if there are any questions, you can just ask me. Can you describe your actual painting process a little more? Yeah. Like you want to know the actual, like how I get to what it is. Uh, I actually start my work, um, now that I will explain the whole process, I start my work with a small little prayer, Om Guru Shukra Vigneshwara Nama. And then I do a layer of silver leaf on the canvas. And I sort of invite uh, Lord Shukra to come and reside on that with a lot of luxuries. And then, of course, the goal will come later, the Lord of Intellect. And I invite both of them to be on my canvas. And then I start uh, with deoxidizing the silver. Because if it gets, uh, you know, if I don't deoxidize it, uh, the colors can go really bad. Because this is over the years I realized uh, of experimentation. And because uh, not being trained into any of the mediums, uh, I realized that the paintings were going black. And that's the reason I started deoxidizing my works and uh, my paintings. And then I do about 10 to 15 washes of different uh, in colors in wash and acrylics, basically. And I also take uh, sometimes an impression of corrugated paper, bubble paper, or any, anything I can get my hands on, like it can be a cloth, it can be a spatula, I like to, you know, and that is the most creative time because that is the time when I'm actually trying to understand what I want to do on the canvas. And uh, by that time I've almost demarcated certain areas which I want in different colors and I start my drawing, which is with a chalk. And uh, then I start with penning, and uh, again there is a certain layer of colors that comes on it. And the last, I use gold leaf, and again I have to seal it properly. And uh, the last layer of drawing is on the gold leaf, and that is how I arrive at the final painting, technically. Yes. No, no, I don't. Um, that I don't ever do any roughs, any rough sketches at all. Uh, this, uh, hello. Uh, this act of what you just said was the little prayer you say before you begin your yeah, work. Yeah. That little act of surrender to something larger. Yes, I, I find I personally find that very interesting. So can you? Can you maybe tell me? Yeah, because uh, I personally feel that uh, I have never dictated on anybody and I cannot dictate on my canvas. <laughs> it's my eternal friend. And sort of I befriend it and I sort of invite uh, the Ishta to come and reside there so that I can be at least uh, be extremely respectful to my friend. <laughs> yes. And that is what it is in the universe. Each one is so important. Each element, each one of us, whoever it is, is so important. And I treat it the same way. I like to treat it the same way. I may not succeed to a large extent, but I do try my best. And I don't see it as a whole in the beginning. And I like it uh, when the painting finishes, I like to put it aside. Till that time, I don't uh, sort of see it from a distance uh, because I want to keep it as a surprise for myself. <laughs> it's a little surprise uh, which I keep it uh, to the last day of my painting and I like to keep it on the easel for at least a day so that I can see it nicely and enjoy it. Yes. I, I wanted to say something. Sure. Uh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 